good morning. We are at Epcot today. We are here for the uh, Flower and Garden Festival because we haven't been here for the Flower and Garden Festival yet. Flag. Flag, flag. Flower and Garden. Oh, flag. you're right. Yeah. No, we haven't been here yet. So it is just now 1140 and we predict it's going to be packed. It's going to be packed. There are lots of cars still coming in and there's a steady storm of people still coming in, but we're really excited. We're going to explore some food booths today and we're going to look at as many of the flower and garden creations. It's going to be great. A yeah. great day. Our expectations are just to be able to see the sights, taste the foods and drinks. We're not going to ride anything today. No. We're just gonna eat and, and drink and look. And yeah, and look, people yep. watch. And we all, we both have sunscreen on, yep. so we are not gonna get burnt today. Nope. We have sunscreen, extra sunscreen in the bag. We're gonna be okay. And I've got my good luck Mickey autographed ball cap on, so I'm set. Yep, we're good, let's go. When you first walk in, you see Sorcerer Mickey and his brooms. And the dancing hippo and alligator over here. I honestly was nervous about them taking those huge monoliths out of this entrance. But it is so open and I kind of love how open and accessible it is now. And the fountain is actually really pretty. I love how this has, like the finished product, I love how it looks. Mom has found a festival booklet and I think they had it at the front entrance, yeah. right? Usually these can be hard to find but she found one. So they've got all different kinds of um, topiaries and they've actually listed where you can find them. So if there's one specific photo opportunity that you want, like with Winnie the Pooh and friends, it'll tell you exactly where to look for it. So mom is a pin trader and she brought some pins to trade. So we are in a line waiting because she has found a place to trade pins. All right, what do you got? I've got a Mickey, I've got a Buzz, Oops. R2-D2, and Ooh. a Stitch. So they have a new pin trading system right now. You put your pins in the bus, and then you have to point to the one on the board, and the cast member will give it to you. But the ones that go into the bus have to be sanitized before they make it to the board. So this pen trading booth was right directly under Spaceship Earth. So we are gonna continue on, we need to find something to eat because we're both really hungry. What did you get? You got Wendy and Lucifer? Very cool. So we are gonna walk to the right toward the land and the seas pavilions. So we're gonna start on that direction. So we're coming around the seas. That's the Coral Reef restaurant back that way. I actually really like this Nemo uh, ride. It's kind of slow and it's just a nice place to slow down and cool off. I think it's pretty sweet. And mom just said she's never done it. So we're gonna see if we can get in it. Yeah, the queue says it's only 15 minutes and honestly, I don't think I've ever waited very long for this ride, just because it's constantly moving, which is really nice. It's kind of creepy like we're underwater. Gotta admit though, the crowd in here is not social distancing very well. Like at all. We are about to get on and the queue never stopped moving, so it was definitely not 15 minutes. Like five, maybe? Yeah. Constantly moving. I love this ride. <laughs> See what I mean about it being like cool and a place to chill? Yeah. In the middle of like a hot, busy day, this is like a nice break from all the stimulation of the park. That's cool. I love this effect. I'm thinking of something pink and bouncy that looks like a balloon. How was the ride, Mom? I liked it. I I really liked it. I think it should be one of the better listed rides. I know it's not a thrill ride, but it's so recreative of the movie. Yes, it's definitely really, really uh, true to the movie, which I really like. But I love how I um, said we weren't going to ride any rides. The first thing we did was ride a ride, but the queue was really short. So now we're going to find something to eat because we're hungry, bordering on the hangry. So 
<laughs> food needs to happen soon. We found the butterfly house, which is just to... And there's a, several escapees, look at The out. exit of the land pavilion, and there are some butterflies escaping. I want to do that before in, we leave. Open the door, let me in. <laughs> we found figment. And these are the butterfly topiaries. They are beautiful and huge. So pretty. And the Lion King topiaries are just up here. That is really cool. I cannot wait till those fireworks barges are actually fountains like they're supposed to be. Because right now, I just think they're hideous. The first booth we're gonna stop at is the Citrus Blossom. And mom is really interested in the lemon lobster salad. And I'm looking at the lime hibiscus ale. We ended up getting the lobster salad and the beer flight, but they do have this really cute orange bird slushy cup, souvenir cup. I'll show you when we get up there. Despite the crowd of people here in the park today, because the park, I'm not, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's busy. But we found a table over here by the water by the transportation friendship landing dock place. Here is the lobster salad. It is the lemon poached lobster salad. It's really kind of skimpy, but is that avocado? What is that? I don't know. Okay, we'll need to look at the menu. And then these are the beers. This is the little flight. So we have a coconut key lime ale we have a lemon Hefweizen and then a hibiscus lime ale. I actually think this is probably the hibiscus because it's pink. And that's probably the coconut key lime. This is the Northern Bloom booth here at the Canada Pavilion. I know a lot of people would be really excited about the seared scallops, but I see a beef tenderloin and I get excited. There's a live performance of Jammeters happening over here by Canada on the mill stage. And honestly, I love this kind of performance, but it always kind of makes me mad because you never see a female drummer. I could do that. We found Miss Piggy and Kermit on a bicycle. Before we continue on to the UK, we're gonna go into the festival pavilion and see what they've got inside. Well, I can tell you right now, I love this. It's quiet, there's no shop taking up a lot of room and having a lot of people in here. This is peaceful and it's actually cool. Very cool. This is really very nice. Let's look at the booths, because I'm still hungry. All right, festival favorites. They've got a watermelon salad, beef brisket burnt ends, fried green tomatoes. That's my language right there. Key lime tart, frozen lemonade. We may have to come back to this one. The next booth is the Cider House booth with a potato and cheddar biscuit. I can skip that. Dark chocolate raspberry tart. Kind of not in the mood for that right now. Pink lemonade hard cider. That sounds really good. Watermelon hard cider. Do they have a flight? Cider flight. Cider flight. Because those sound amazing. I love the little sunflowers on the stage. Those are really pretty. Kind of whimsical, a little bit tacky, but I'm kind of into that kind of thing. Looks like the last booth in here is the Farmer's Feast with a spring onion soup, duck confit off the beaten path. You know, this one isn't singing to me like the other two were. All right, let's go back. I see a key lime tart, and we're definitely getting one of those here. And then those are the fried green tomatoes right there. And then the slider, yum. All right, we kind of split up, divide and conquer. You know, they got, we got the slider flight. Mom purchased this. And then I went to the other booth and I got the brisket slider and the fried green tomatoes and the key lime tart, just because I couldn't say no because I'm so hungry and they all look and sound so good. As we were eating, a musician came out 
and took up the piano on the sunflower stage, which I really love. Meanwhile, we have finished eating, and I have to say, the fried green tomatoes were amazing. The key lime tart was fantastic. It was so, so good. And this, it looks like we didn't eat it, but we did. We just left the bun. We're trying to be mostly good today. We're not gonna eat the bun when it's, we're sure it's not like a homemade bun, you know? Anyway, this light was fantastic. This is the pink lemonade cider. So, so good. This is the watermelon. It's not mom's favorite, but I like it. And this one is called the triple jam, and it's really good. And just as you leave the pavilion, there's a Mickey and Minnie topiary over here. That's really cute because it's a great photo opportunity. My favorite topiaries every year are the Winnie the Pooh topiaries, but really only Winnie the Pooh. This little loaf right here brings me so much joy. Just so adorable. I think Pooh needs a shave. It looks a little bit like Adam's jawline. He looks a little furry. <laughs> Adam's jawline. He looks a little furry. But I think he's so cute. And I love the balloon. I love these. And the next one is immediate. And it is Captain Hook and Peter Pan. And it looks like they're having a duel, but I think Peter Pan is really just kind of screwing around having a good time. They got the eyes right, didn't they? You can hardly tell on camera because it's so bright. But I just think that they do such a good job with these. I love the mustache. There's Captain Hook's face. I just think they did such a good job with that mustache. And the hook looks great. We are now in France at the Fleur de Lis booth. I don't think we're gonna stop here. Generally, this booth doesn't hold any interest or much interest for us. I will say I've had the Cronenberg 1664 before and I have really enjoyed that, but I don't think we're gonna eat anything here. And of course they have beautiful topiary of Belle and Beast here in the France Pavilion. So pretty. The next booth is the La Isla Fresca with a lamb curry, a sugarcane shrimp skewer, that sounds really sweet, a tropical mousse cup, and then alcoholic and non-alcoholic tropical freeze, and a sour beer. I don't think we're gonna stop here either. And then a taste of Marrakesh is next. Let's go get a shot of this menu. So Taste of Marrakesh has some seafood couscous. Shakshuka, I've always wanted to try that. Lemon Magdalena cake. And the drinks sound good too. I'm actually kind of full right now, but we might come back and try that shakshuka, or maybe I'll just make it at home sometime. But it sounds really Thanks good. Do not comply, will be asked to leave. We are at the festival market and we are waiting in line but a woman in a ECV just cut us off but they do have some festival exclusive merchandise, a festival exclusive spirit jersey and rain poncho kind of thing and some bowls and tumblers. This is really, really cool. Here is the Japan booth menu with Furushi which is fruit sushi. Like I said, we're kind of full right now. We might make another lap around the World Pavilion. I don't know that we'll stop here though. This bonsai garden is one of the uh, flower and garden festival exhibits. I think some of these are just so pretty and it takes so much talent to grow them. I love it. We have a bonsai book at home about how to groom a bonsai. Maybe one day we'll have one, Mom. I hear some really, really loud music coming from the America Pavilion, the show, show what is it, show place? Somewhere over the rainbow. I love that. We should watch that movie, Mom. <laughs> we can smell the barbecue coming from the Regal Eagle. But first, I want to get a shot of this menu here at Magnolia Terrace. Crawfish etouffee, Cajun style roasted oysters, boudin balls two ways, pecan cake, pecan praline. This sounds really good. Use your foot, use your foot. 
Oh yeah, that's what I needed. I had filthy hands and they felt sticky. You gotta have a little foot action going there to pump it. Like riding a bike, you gotta Like pedal. riding a bike, yeah, if you pedal it, it works great. But that cool water is wonderful. Up next is the Italy Pavilion or the Primavera Kitchen, which is the booth at the Italy Pavilion here at Epcot. Looks like they've got a margarita flatbread, arancini, and a Sicilian cannoli, and lots of wines to choose from, and some beer. So we got drinks. I got the Rosa Regale, which is like a sparkling red wine, and mom got the Italian margarita with tequila and limoncello. Yes, that sounds delicious. Next up is Germany and one of mom's very favorite topiaries. Well, yeah, we love the train, but mom, it's Snow White. I love Snow White. I know you do. Look how pretty she is in her little foot. We watch DFB Guide on YouTube frequently and she always talks about the caramel popcorn here in Caramel Kucha at the Germany Pavilion. One of these days, Mom, we're gonna have to go in there and we're gonna have to get some, because it just, like, I've seen the videos where they make it, and it looks delicious, and I love caramel. This is the food booth here at the Germany Pavilion. They've got the potato pancakes with applesauce and sour cream, pretzel bread, cheese strudel, and a pilsner. Oh, ooh, they've got a Rattler. I do really like Rattlers, but I, again, I think we're gonna skip this one. I should probably also mention, we did reapply our sunscreen, so we are keeping up with that. All right, we're passing the Lotus House booth. Let's get a shot of this menu. Oh, they have cheese, crab and cheese wontons, and the chicken skewers. This is the one I would stop at if I was hungry, because some of these things look, sound really, really good. The queue for the Mexico Pavilion is over here. I don't think we're gonna go in, are we, Mom? Cava de Tequila line. Yeah. Oh, this is the La Cava de Del Tequila line. Yeah, I don't know that I wanna wait in that. But it's really limited, the number of people that they will let inside the pavilion right now. Just as you leave Mexico, right across from the Mexican booth, we'll get the menu in a second, but look, it's the Three Caballeros. You look great, Donald. So here's the menu here at Mexico, at the Mexico booth. I've heard really good things about the tostada. Taco Vampiro, Sopa de Chorizo, Passion for Margarita, Garden Margarita. Yum. I don't see anything I wanna try here. We came into a gift shop and they have a Thomas Kincaid Pirates of the Caribbean puzzle. I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it. This is my favorite Toy Story character of all time. I have a little alien um, AirPods case and I just think it's the cutest thing ever. And a little bucket of green men. Oh, we just walked through another gift shop. I'm honestly not impressed with their selection of merchandise right now. Not at all. I was impressed with the prices. Yeah, some of the prices are probably pretty good. Um, we're back over here by the Citrus Blossom, which is where we started, over that way. And there's a booth over here called the Pineapple Promenade. So let's check out this menu. So there is a spicy hot dog, a buttermilk cake. Oh, you can get a Dole Whip here. Violet Lemonade. I know a lot of people talk about the Violet Lemonade. Cool. Walking by the brand new restrooms and there's a couple, a couple of food booths over here. First is the Honey Bee Strum. What is corn spoon bread? I have a Starbucks card. Yeah, I'll be there. Everything here just sounds really, really sweet. This is why I love the Flower and Garden Festival. Look how pretty they make the park look. They cover it in different designs, hidden Mickeys and flowers. This is a hidden Mickey over here, and they put all kinds of flowers out on the water. 
I just think that it's so pretty. I love it. The flavorful kitchen. And they've got grilled baby vegetables, seared verlasso salmon, and a strawberry mousse. I think we are actually gonna make our way out of the park, but first we need to go over to Future World because we have been over there today. We've got Goofy with a mallet and some screws. Who knows what he's doing? Mickey and Minnie. Oh, Mickey and Minnie are over there. Look at Minnie's cute little dress. Personally, I love the sunflowers. We are making our way over. We're basically in Future World now. This is Test Track over here, and that is the Sunshine Griddle. We will get that menu in a minute. But I really wanted to talk about this outdoor escapes place. It looks like a relaxation station where you can sit and take your mask off. But it's nice because there's some open space with some tables and booths and umbrellas for some shade. That's really nice and I feel like there should be more of that at Epcot just because of all the festivals. Especially now since you're not supposed to eat or drink while you're walking. So you should be stationary. And I think it would be really cool if they had more places for people to sit and eat and drink instead of stand. And right next to that is this play area, which is so cool. I'm so cool they and never roped had off. Like that when you guys were kids, and well, now they've got it and they can't use it. Yeah, I mean it would be so cool for kids to get to use this, but it's obvious why they can't use it right now. But it kind of makes me sad, you know, because this would be really cool for kids between the ages of two and five because that's what it's set aside for per this sign over here designated for children two to five years old. Here's the menu for the sunshine griddle. Avocado toast so I can make at home. Shrimp and grits. Corned beef. Cinnamon roll bites. That sounds good. Fruit Loops shake. Ooh. We're gonna go in and check out Mouse Gear just to see what they've got in here. I'm gonna take a minor detour over here to look at Bambi and Friends. All kinds of stuff in here from Dalmatian ear headbands to Aristocat backpacks, puppy backpacks, Aristocat wallets. I kind of love this kitchen apron with the carousel horse, but would you get that when you could be Cinderella in the kitchen? Or Prince Charming in the kitchen? You say cat lady like it's a bad thing. <laughs> that's me, like right there, that's me. They have villain's clue. We have a really cool version of clue at home. It's not Disney vi villains, but it's still really cool. Dr. Facilier. Yzma, Jafar, Maleficent, Ursula, Evil Queen. You rock. I was wrong. So this is definitely Evil Queen. That's definitely Ursula. That's Maleficent. That's um, Jafar. That's Hades. I totally forgot about Hades. How could I forget about Hades? Because it looks like that bottle Yzma's looking for. That's the potion that he uses to turn Hercules into a mortal human. Told you mom was obsessed with all things Baby Yoda slash Mandalorian. Do you see the patches over there, mom? And the Crocs. Actually, they're magnets, not patches. This would be a really cool patch, though. They should be patches. But this is really cool. And they do have a green one. I like the green one better than the white one. I do too. Like, much more. And this one just says the Mandalorian, not the Bounty. But I like the color. They have pass holder exclusive stuff over here with a pass holder exclusive spirit jersey with Pluto. Look how cute he is. I kind of don't like it though. There was one in 2019 that was pink with the green flowers on it. And I love that one. I don't like this one. Apparently mom likes it, pass holder spirit jersey. What'd you I like, like about the, it? I like the color. I don't like that Mickey's so low. Yeah, kind of low on the back. 
but I like it. Can, I can dig it. I can dig it. Well, we are ending our day here at Epcot. It is almost three o'clock. We've been here since 11. Yeah. 15. So we got here just a few minutes after they opened. We ate, we drank, we saw, we came, we conquered. I'm happy. All of that. Yep, I thought it was wonderful. Spent a ton of money. We didn't buy anything, we just bought a bunch of food and drinks. We didn't spend a ton of money, but we spent some money. We spent a ton of money on food and drinks. It is expensive to eat and drink around the world at the festivals. But if you're not gonna sit and eat at a restaurant, it's really not so bad. But, yeah. so that's my advice. If you're gonna come to a festival, Plan on spending money. Plan on spending money and don't plan on making a reservation at a restaurant. Just don't do it. You don't need to, probably. But Not at a festival. Right. I so, agree. That's going to be it for today. You guys are going to see us in another video really, really soon.